February 19th, 2013. We're looking at a page that I will put a link to. It is called Boardwalk Pipeline Partners LP. They have a website, and they, you can go there, and it tells you about the pipelines and some of the um, things that go through them, natural gas, and then your liquid natural gases. You've got ethylene that runs through here. But it's got a color code here. Your blue, <clears throat> again, this is uh, very hard to see on the video. So, again, the, go to the link, and what's above it, and I'll show you. This page is, here is your uh, legend. You've got, to, it tells you what each of the lines are. Now, the reason I'm here, a couple of reasons, is one is right here at this crossing between but the red line, Texas Gas Transmission, and these blue lines, which is called Gulf South Pipeline, is where our sinkhole, or excuse me, salt dome collapse is occurring in Bayou Corn. That thing's getting deeper. Um, <clears throat> it's also had time now to be polluting the aquifer and coming out of those bayous into those lakes <clears throat> above Morgan City. And now the scientists are starting to really get worried. I want to read you a little bit of information. It, it's, uh, uh, this is from the Louisiana State Representative Joe Harrison. So if you've got any questions, look up uh, the, your representative there. Now, I'm not far. I'm in Mississippi, but uh, I'm about 100 miles. At, uh, representative Harrison said, we just started um, that we put a ring. He said, I requested that we put a ring levy around the existing hole a couple months ago. He said, we finally started doing that about a week and a half ago. And this has come out today on the 19th. He says, we're trying to contain all of the chemicals that are coming out because they're going out into the marsh, which goes into our waterways, and we could have potential fish kills, and God only knows what else, because they haven't been able to identify all the chemicals coming out of the ground yet. Now, continue with Harrison. He says that, it's actually the chemical compounds <clears throat> they're mixing together. So they're actually doing DA, DNA testing to try to get a link as to where they could potentially come from because there are a number of caverns in that area. It says this was these are very volatile chemicals <clears throat> that were going through a lot of these lines that are running all throughout the area. So it's more complicated than just the salt dome. And remember on my video where I showed you the pipeline leaking? That would have been probably part of this Gulf South pipeline in the blue. Now, again, you've got your legend there on this page, and then you can read all about each one of the lines. Now, this is all part of the uh, Boardwalk Partners. And if you notice, uh, this feeds nat natural gas up to our friends in the north. In the wintertime, keeps them from freezing to death. The map also shows you different uh, shell areas where you got a lot of fracking going on eagle ford bozier city i mean excuse me bozier sands uh haynesville shell tuscaloosa marine shell now <clears throat> again you got ethylene going through here all of these are combustible they're uh they can put you to sleep ethylene can they it's actually been used as an anesthetic you wouldn't even know it if it hits you now here right here is one of the things that has mystified me beyond uh, most things in my life why they did this but you know years ago they did uh, two five megaton nuclear tests in these caverns to test them now if you read about that it says high pressure storage this goal line right there then if you go up I want to show you something, what they're doing. Now, this map and all was put together in 2012, but there's plans for this year, 2013. It's really scary. I'll show you. Now, again, use your legend here. You notice uh, here in Hattiesburg, uh, you've got the uh, gold. <clears throat> that's high-pressure storage. Also, guys, your domes, boardwalk, Louisiana, midstream. Lose, read about these areas. But let's go up and find HP storage from boardwalk, and you'll come up here. Boardwalk HP Storage Company, LLC, acquired the pedal in Hattiesburg. Guys, these are 50-something miles south of me. Storage companies in December 2011. The company operates seven high-deliverability salt dome natural gas storage caverns in Forest County, Mississippi. That's Hattiesburg, where we had the big tornado last week. 
says having approximately 29 billion cubic feet of total storage capacity, of which approximately 19 billion cubic feet is working gas capacity. The comp- company operates approximately 105 miles of pipeline, which connect their facilities with major natural, natural gas pipelines, including Gulf South Pipeline. Also <clears throat> owns undeveloped land which is suitable for up to six additional storage caverns. That's how much salt domes are in under Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi area. It says the one of which is expected to be placed in service in 2013. That's this year. Again, this was last year, guys. Now, I'll show you a couple pictures. Now, this is the way it used to be. This is the launching pad that we saw them fight or... <clears throat> We saw him put some booms out there in the water. I didn't see much other than that, guys, to be honest with you. Did you? But now this entire area is underwater. This is LA-70. Just to the left here is uh, the Bayou Corn, the subdivision there. This small road, if you remember now, they've come in here on this area and started building that big drilling rig. I'll show you a picture of that. Now, this is Bayou Corn. This is 70. And just as we the picture connected right here, guys. So your sinkhole is in this area. But this bayou runs down and runs around. We saw where on the uh, video with the broken pipeline where that uh, oil and all the other chemicals, and they're not even sure of all of them. They're trying to do tests because there's been stuff stored here for years and years and years, even possible nuclear waste. But uh, a lot of this area has been evacuated, and they want to come through the yards. These are very nice homes, boathouses on the back, paradise, you know. <clears throat> but uh, they want to come through in these yards and drill relief wells. And uh, they're talking about having to run above ground pipelines through there. And if they don't, they're worried about the pressure building under there. But now they've only got one in this area here. I'll show you that. Now, I know this image is not that clear, guys, but uh, it's the best that I can do at this point. You can try to use high def in your video. But uh, this is the 70 right along here. And this is the road I showed you where they came in. They built this platform. They've come down through there. Remember, this was all above ground. This was all above ground. This was this platform that I showed you when all this was clear. Now... They're gonna. They're talking about 15 different relief wells here, and then all of a sudden they're going to slide in over there. It sounds kind of like a takeover. It may be because they know this area is it will become a petroleum wasteland. It already has. There's no going back. You're not going to be able to clean this up. This is going to make the deep water horizon event look small. Listen to what I'm telling you. Hold on. Now let's flip this around. And look the other way. Here's the relief rig and the road. Here's your where it started out with the salt dome collapsing. You can look at this perimeter of this water and get an, a good idea of what has started to collapse. Now, it runs right into these bayous. It goes down into the big lakes above Morgan City. It's down into the aquifer. It's been going on for months. It's had time for that aquifer that feeds fresh water through this section of South Louisiana to be contaminated throughout the area. Are they going in and warning people in the different cities? Morgan City, <clears throat> they've evacuated a lot of corn bayou, but there's a lot of other cities there, and I'll show you a few of the, on those on a backed up map. But again, this is all running down into the bayous, into the Gulf, underground and above ground. Now, backing this out to get a larger picture, guys, right here where I've got the pen is the sinkhole, the salt dome collapse right there is corn bayou this is 70 that comes down and it joins right here into the other highway and they go on down into morgan city but if you'll notice this um, <clears throat> spider web of bayous this one is the main one right into lake verrett okay you've got um this feeds this is this is the it's like a uh, bio, uh, its own ecosystem here, guys. You, you've seen it on TV, the alligators, the birds, the ingrates, fish. Now they're going to die. The scientists are saying that. It supports an entire way of life. Not only that, you, the, again, the water system into the Gulf of Mexico, that Gulf Stream runs out and runs up the Atlantic seaboard over to England and back down. 
Now, looking straight down on this at the top, here's your salt dome collapse. There's your neighborhood down in here is where all the action is. This area sinking. 70 comes down. Here's Morgan City. You come out of the first lake into your second lake, right through the bayous, right into Morgan City. Now, zooming in on this, this is Lake Lord Morgan City. This is what we're dealing with. Again, it's a large city, old base, a lot of the industry there. But if you notice, it looks like some aquaculture going on here. Can't tell exactly what it is. I'm sure someone knows there. But they drain this water that supplies, if it's rice, whatever it is, catfish, it comes out of the same sources. You cannot filter all of these hydrochemicals and hydrocarbons and carcinogens out of it. I want to pull out even further. Here's your area of the collapse here. You see where 70 comes down, goes through Lake, I mean, excuse me, Morgan City's here. All this comes right into the Gulf of Mexico, guys. 50 miles offshore of Venice, we've got a gas well that's, uh, they've evacuated some of the people off of it. It was in the last video. We can't find much information from it. I've got it on the last video. It's an in uh, SCO rig, I think number 118, where high pressure gas is blown up about uh, 7,000 7, feet, and the only thing stopping it from blowing into the Gulf now is um, a layer of sand. But uh, it's an update on this, guys. On, on, heads up on something on March the 3rd, that morning. Kind of mark it on your calendars if you like. Go to Power Hour. It's a radio show. Just type it in Power Hour. I think it's .org, but I'll put a link, and I'm going to put some links on the website. <clears throat> but that morning, I think the show runs from 7 to 10. I think in around 8, they called and asked me to call in. We're going to talk about some of this. That They're real interested in there, and their concern on the Power Hours that this is We've seen some of the videos uh, around. There's two or three of us, Dutch and a few other folks. But it's not being in the national news. And what the Power Hour is trying to do is get this in the spotlight. Because, again, this is going to be bigger and worse and more destructive than the Gulf oil spill with the deep water horizon. And I don't. you cannot cap. 10 or 12 acre hole what are they going to do guys they've opened up Pandora's box we're reaching the middle of Daniel 70 weeks it's open